Hello everyone, my name is Mark Faust and not so long ago, Rode brought out the Wireless Go 2 microphones, uh, which are these, and you can just see it just below, below me there in the picture. Now, the uh, what happened uh, was that a lot of people requested certain things to be done on the Rode uh, microphones so they could do uh, certain things and improve the units, and now we have got the latest firmware, which now has lav mic recording where you don't have to have anything else but just this or this so in other words you've got two microphones that will record internally into the boxes separately and without needing a receiver this is really exciting stuff and i don't know how Rode did it uh, but uh, you can now go ahead and download the firmware updated version which also means that the uh, Rode Central needs to be updated so in other words replace the Rode Central version and you'll be okay so I'll have the link down below where you can actually go and get it uh, and uh, yeah really, really enjoy the uh, firmware update uh, I'll just show you quickly now how to actually go through with the update and uh, what you need to do um, first of all you need to um, switch the uh, units on and you've got to update each unit separately so all three units need updating and you've got to plug in one unit at a time to update each one of them you bring up your road central software and with that you can then go ahead and do the updating uh, it is all automatic but what you have to do is just make sure that road central sees the actual units uh, that you've got connected to your computer and from then on you'll be A-OK -okay to go and it will actually prompt you through all the details. I'll show you now how to do it, okay? And uh, we'll just go from there. So here we are in the interface and this is uh, Road Central and you can see here that uh, it is an empty screen and uh, basically it just asks you to connect up each road device that you need to update, etc. and that you want to uh, work with um, in, in the software directly. Uh, so uh, now what you need to do is make sure that uh, the each unit is actually turned on, connected up, and what happens is straight away you'll get an update requirement. Um, so basically you just go ahead with it and uh, let's just do that now and uh, see how we go. Okay, so here we go. It's, it's, it's running now, so um, I'll just, uh, it's, it's real, very uh, quick. So as I'm talking, I haven't really actually paused this and you can see that it's uh, almost updated already. So, um, and with that, you need to do that again and again. So uh, three times and then when it's, once it's done, it's done. And then you can see all your recordings and uh, everything else and uh, you are ready to go. Top left hand side, you'll see the firmware is now 1.60. Inside the software, you can now see all your recordings. Now, when you go into uh, or back into the uh, gold gear at the top left hand side. Now, the only problem with um, the software, um, the Road Central software, is that uh, you can't actually delete each individual track uh, that you've recorded. Uh, you have to delete everything in one go. Um, the upper tier of the uh, selection for the um, sender unit is uh, you can record as always which also means that you can um, use it you can either use it as a backup uh, off always means now with the firmware update that you can always record so which means that this one unit is a standalone unit you don't need a receiver unit anymore it will record it into this little device. The padding, you can pad on or pad off, so that will give you a bit more um, uh, background noise reduction. Uh, LED, you can switch that into dim or bright, whichever way you like. The uh, recording uh, as switched on as always uh, will only give you uh, uncompressed. You can't change that to compressed, so you'll be limited to around seven hours of recording, whereby uncompressed will give you uh, something like 40 hours recording but uh, i would always i mean you want high quality video and audio so stick to the high quality audio seven hours should last you uh, just about all day for recording really now when you, uh, you you've also got the option of uh, what you want the uh, the button on the uh, unit this front button here what you want it to do so if you hold this button uh, for a long period it will turn the unit on but afterwards 
uh, once it's on, you've got the selection of having um, either a mute setting or it doing nothing at all. So uh, if or, or you can also set it as a, as a marker as well. So every time you push it, it will create a marker on your timeline so you can see what you want it highlighted and or what, where you want the cut to be made, etc., etc., on the fly, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, again, it's another update. Um, so I've got this uh, set to say, uh, uh, I don't know, I probably will have this on marker and uh, uh, so that's a nice little option that I'll remember that I have on it. So again you do this on, on all units um, and what I'll do now, so simply disconnecting will will finish that operation and then you're okay and set to go. I have already updated the um, uh, wireless go receiver unit uh, which also needs updating and uh, once that is updated, uh, I'll show you what this looks like and then you can just have a quick look. You can turn backlight on or off, so you can leave it running constantly or it will just go into a sleep mode and you can wake this up by uh, just basically pressing the, the front button again. So if you press the front button again, the display will light up if you have got it in uh, backlight off. Uh, select the gain mode and bring that down to a fine gain mode selection or a rough uh, game mode selection for my purposes the rough is just plenty good enough it's good uh, and then you can adjust the gain here um, on the software uh, you can also adjust the gain um, on the unit merge two microphones so you can merge your two wireless goes uh, transmitters to uh, into one unit so you could do stereo recording etc like uh, once you know set, set up the uh, these transmitters on each uh, speaker or you could also do separate recordings of voices where where one unit will record one voice and the other unit will record another voice so then you can uh, select where you want that if you want it split or not so uh, um, so one unit will record to the right hand channel and the other one will record it to the left hand channel okay so uh, if you if you merge the units then you have got the option of uh, a safety channel and if you turn on safety channel you will have um, two um, uh, recordings that will give you two levels so if it's if one level is too hot then you can bounce back to the uh, previous level and that's good too uh, again as I said the uh, the button uh, has got a marker uh, on there as well uh, same as what the the uh, transmitter units have um, so the uh, sender units and the receiver unit has got marker function with the road button now uh, here you can also see the battery life of it um, and the battery life is also shown on the display on each unit uh, it tells you that it's up to date and everything is fine and ready to go so uh, yeah it's fantastic um, so i hope this all helped and i'll disconnect this again so as you can see i'm fairly well invested um, i also use uh, the rode nt1 to record all my um, or most of my my uh, live shows etc so um, please uh, yeah subscribe give me a thumbs up and uh, until i see you next time